What's going on guys? So I'm at Maya right now and I am very surprised. Look at these tanks. Let me just quick, let, let's just let's just go through them real quick, okay? I don't know if this is all new or something. Everything in this store looks like brand new. There's like all that fancy modern wood stuff, like I don't know. I guess it looks all right, but these tanks are so clean. Like, I mean, they're not like spotless, but they look so much better than they used to because I've come to this mire before and they do not look this good. They even have some decent plants that look not completely dead like they have in the past. Now, some of them do look a little bit sad, like these um, parrotfish right here. Their colors aren't super bright and they have some like weird spots on them. But honestly, overall, Meyer has done a way better job taking care of their fish. They even have silver dollars here. They never have that kind of fish. And I really want to make a goldfish pond. Look at these goldfish that they have. They're so cool. They have a ton of different kinds. They have these kind right here. This looks like a koi actually, but those ones down there are beautiful. And then look at all of these little fancy goldfish. These would be perfect for the pond that I'm going to make in the summer. Like look at all these ones right here with their little fancy tails. And they have koi up here too. They actually look really pretty. Like look at this one, if it'll focus. Maybe, focus, come on. Nope, okay, well the unfocused koi. And then they even have algae eaters back there. Now, of course, they always have their regular feeder goldfish, but these don't look as dead as they have in the past. Like there's not dead ones just floating around. I mean, maybe there's like one, but yeah, there's a little sad one right down there. But other than that, they look really good and healthy and their colors are, are really uh, pretty. This one's my favorite. See the one with black spots or on the tail? It's way back, see right there? That one's cool. And look at these ones with like white on the bottom. That's cool too. But yeah, I'm really impressed. And they also have my very favorite fish. These are platies. Look at how many colorful platies they have. That is crazy. Those look like Bela sharks up there, <clears throat> but they do have a couple dead ones up there. But honestly, there's so many fish in here and they're, most of them look like they're doing pretty good. They also have some colorful guppies in here. Let's see, what is this thing? Is that like a Pictus catfish? Hold on, where's the tag? Iridescent shark. Oh man, that is awesome. Look at that thing, that is cool. Those get really big. They have more guppies, they have angelfish. Now these are just like plain white ones, but those are cool. And then I think these are sword tails. I think that's what these are called. I don't see any of the ones with the swords on their tails, like the males, but then skirt tetras. These are pretty much all guppies, er, what, not guppies, all um, goldfish. This one's huge, wow goldfish and koi so there's some koi right here and then more koi in here and then pretty much the rest are goldfish over here they have more tetras it looks like looks like some sort of pleco I, I don't know that looks cool and then let's see down here oh down here they have some cichlids I didn't even see these guys whoa that one is crazy guys this fish is beautiful look at that thing wow oh my goodness that is so pretty Looks like they have some mollies down here. I think that's what those are. Mollies, yep, Dalmatian mollies. Gold dust mollies, black mollies. And then they have gold, or what are they called? Glowfish, that's what they're called. I almost called them goldfish, no, glowfish. I don't really like them because I, I don't know. They're just not my favorite, but they look really healthy, which makes me happy. And then they also have some live plants that don't look too bad. Some of them are a little not so happy, but they don't look too bad. And they have some betas. Maybe not the most beautiful betas, but if a kid wants a beta, oh, that one's kind of pretty. And then let's see, they have some stuff over here. Let's take a quick peek over here at what they have as like tanks. So it looks like they have some reptile stuff. This thing would be awesome for a turtle tank. It's like a, a fountain or a waterfall. That's what it's called, a waterfall, but it's like a rock. It looks like a rock. That would be so cool in a turtle tank. So like this video if you want me to buy that, I'll come back and buy that and put it in a turtle tank that we'll make. They have some just regular 10 gallon tanks, 20 gallon high tank. What is this? 29 gallon, yep. And then, oh, they, they don't have 55s. Sometimes they have 55s, but, so they just have regular glass tanks, but they also have like the kits with all the stuff that you need, like a light and a hood. And I think it comes with a filter too. So that is actually pretty good. I am actually pretty impressed with their new whole setup back here. And they have these nice long rows with like all the animal stuff. Over here, they have bowls, like goldfish bowls, which aren't the best for fish. 
These are way too small for fish, but maybe if you get like a shrimp or something, these look like maybe a one gallon, maybe these are two gallons. This wouldn't actually be that bad for maybe a shrimp or two, but definitely not any fish. They also have one of these, oh, these like side scrubber things. Those are awesome. And they have smaller tanks. Um, <laughs> I thought this said confusion tank. I was like, yeah, with all those colors, I'd be confused too, but color fusion tank. Wow, I cannot read today. They have tiny tanks. Look how tiny this is. This is not, not good for a betta fish. Look, it's literally, I can fit it in my hand. So um, please don't buy that for your betta fish. But this is actually cool. It's a betta starter kit. So it's not actually the tank. It's just all the stuff that you need for the tank. So rocks, um, it looks like a sponge filter, a net and some plants. That's pretty cool. And then of course they have all the filter pads, rocks, all the other stuff that you can need. Of course, the confusion tank. <laughs> um, but if you turn over here, they have a ton of like decorations and um, usually this is all that they would have, but now they have those live plants in there, which is pretty cool. But yeah, these are interesting. These are uh, definitely something, but I don't know, some of these are pretty cool. Like this kind of sort of natural looking bamboo. That's interesting, I'd buy that if I had a, that sort of tank to put it in. And then of course all the different types of food and um, API, uh, tetra, whatever, water, water treatment, pond, sticks, what food, I don't know, all the stuff that you need for your fish. Oh my goodness, the other side of that is even more stuff. They did not have all this stuff before. Look at this. You can get a whole like kit, or not a kit, but like a whole massive thing. Oh my goodness, these would be perfect for guppies. Look at this. That would be so perfect for like little guppies to breed in. And they're only like four bucks or three bucks maybe. Look at these things. Guys, like this video and I will come back and make a tank with all this awesome stuff. This is so cool. They even have purple ones. I, I kind of like the green better, but that is cool. Like you could line the whole bottom of your tank with this. And all the little guppies could go in there and then not get eaten. And they have tall ones. If you have a tall tank, oh my goodness, it keeps getting better. Wow. <laughs> they have tiny little plants if you have a tiny tank. Oh, a shark, that is cool. These are awesome, wow, I'm very impressed. I don't know what this is, but it looks um, too small for a betta fish. This is kind of neat though, it's kind of like artificial wood with some plants attached. That is so cool. This actually looks awesome too. I am so happy with this new whole setup that they got going here. And honestly, all this stuff is not that expensive. Like the store that I just went to, which was another pet store, all this stuff was like probably at least twice as much. Like, I don't know, for example, this thing here, $4, but at the store I was just at, it was probably like at least eight, maybe 10. And I don't know, like this cool thing, this is like a, a fossil, like a made up fossil, like an alligator or something, I don't know, something like that. It's, let's see, what is it? It's $22 here, but probably at Petco, that thing would probably be like 40 bucks for this because they really overpriced things. So guys, I did not think that this was a good store to buy fish, but honestly now, at least here, it's not that bad. Thank you all so much for watching this video. It actually turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to with all their new fish tanks that look amazing. Um, if you wanna see more videos um, from me, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. What on earth is a craft rock? Those are just regular rocks that they're selling for $4. That's hilarious.